Hey there internet friends, Larry the Music Guy here. Today we're going to talk about monitoring of your live performances, specifically creating a system that will be very consistent for you no matter what show you're playing, whether it's a small bar or an outdoor festival on a large stage, creating a system that will provide a mix for you that is very consistent every time you perform. We'll talk about that in greater detail as well as show you the uh, system we put together for my cover band, Crazy Delicious, right after this. So if you're in a band and you've gigged a lot, you've probably had more than one night where your monitor situation was complete trash. It probably affected your performance too. I know, I've been there, I've done that more than I care to admit. And uh, that's what we're here to talk about today. So there's really two different options you have when it comes to your monitors. And let's, real quick, just in case you don't know what a monitor is, your monitors are what you hear on stage and then you have your front of house mix, which is what the audience hears. What we're gonna talk about is specifically what you hear on stage and what you need to listen to for you to be able to perform well. The problem about the old school monitors that have the speaker out in front of you is they create a lot of feedback issues. They will sound different from room to room. Sometimes it will even affect the front of house mix because if you got a really loud stage monitor mix, that will color the front of house mix and make your, your sound technician have a tough time to bring some clarity to the front of house mix. I think the best way to go nowadays, and you see any professional musician on TV, they're all wearing an in-ear solution. And there's two ways to do an in-ear solution, and that is with a wireless system like this. We're using Sennheisers with uh, alien ear in-ear molded monitors it sound fabulous or if you're stationary like a drummer you can use a headphone amplifier we're using the specific one to the system that we use it's a Behringer P1 basically you run your monitor outputs into here and then you plug your um, headphones into the front there you got your volume control right there as well it has a wall wart that plugs in so you have to worry about batteries so if you're a drummer or a keyboard player and you don't move around, that's a nice solution. But for everybody else that is mobile on a stage, especially like a large festival stage, a wireless system is really the way to go. You need to have your entire band running an in-ear solution. If half of you are running floor monitors and the other half are running in-ears, it's you're not going to really be able to 100% benefit from having a consistent mix every single time you perform or even practice. If everybody's in ear and running their own mix every time you perform, that is the ideal way to uh, run your system. So I'll take you out and show you what we've got going on. We put a rack system together that includes our in-ear monitors, our X32 Behringer system. We've got a splitter snake for when we have festivals and there's a different front of house person. And I'll take you out there and kind of show you what we put together here uh, right now. So here we are, we're set up in the basement of my house. Um, we did our first live stream for New Year's Eve this year due to COVID, which has got us uh, to the point where we really don't have many shows going on right now and uh, wanted to keep the band um, in good practice. So we're doing some live streaming things. So basically we're set up our system down in the basement, just like we're playing a gig. All right, guys, here we go. This is the rack system that we put together for our in-ear monitoring system, as well as to run our front of house when our sound guy is running sound for us. But it also serves purpose as we take it to every single gig, even when we're playing festivals, when the festival's providing the front of house sound. We also bring this out because this runs our monitors no matter what gig we're playing. Uh, we use it at practice, so our monitors are consistent from practice to every single gig we play. Um, it's in a shock mount rack, and the rack costs about 500 bucks. Um, we're running our in-ear wireless systems. It's a Sennheiser system, so we've got four wireless systems. we got uh, bass, keyboards, guitar, and our lead vocal. 
we are running the Behringer X32 system. So this is the main uh, rack mount board, if you will, that runs our system. And uh, that has 16 inputs on it. So we had to expand that by adding the S16. So that expands another 16 inputs. Um, we're currently running 24 inputs on that. So we're not totally using all of the inputs on it, but it gave us enough to run what we need. Now, the other thing that um, you would need to do this to be able to run at festivals when somebody is running your sound other than your sound guy is a splitter snake. And the splitter snake is this right here. So we're plugging in our microphones and all of our inputs into the splitter snake. And it does exactly what it says. It splits the signal into two, two different signal paths. It sends a signal to this mil spec standard snake adapter. So there we have a 50 foot long snake that plugs into this, that we take that and run that to the front of house sound system when we are not running sound ourselves. So that goes to the front of house and all the guy that's running the sound out for the audience to listen to, all he has to worry about is just running the front of house. And then on the back side of the snake, it actually has outputs that come out and plug into the back of the Behringer, as well as you'll see these are kind of coming from back behind. That's the splitter snake going into the S16. So we're sending, if I do the kick drum in one, the kick drum is going into one of the S16. And it's also going out via this snake output here to the front of house. So it splits it into two. So the beautiful thing about the X32 is you hook up a wireless router and it plugs into the back of the X32. And what that does is it creates a Wi-Fi um, network. It doesn't, it's not hooked up to the internet. It simply is dedicated to this rack mount system. And what that does when we are on stage, we actually have our own in-ear mix that we control ourselves. So each one of us individual musicians have either a cell phone or an iPad. Um, it's supported for both iOS for um, Apple products as well as Android products. But as you can see here on this, this is my mix. And right here we got kick. We've got um, running electronic drums as well as uh, acoustic drums. So this is kind of each, we got a tab that you can run through and go through all of the uh, inputs. So electronic drums, we got bass. Um, I'm running my Helix foot pedal board in stereo out. And then I also have a um, Friedman amp that I mic with a 57. So I'm running direct out of my Helix as well as a microphone on my amplifier. Here's my acoustic send. And we have stereo keyboards. I have a stereo vocal channel because I run a vocal processor. Everybody else is running a mono mix here, but we used to run some back, backing tracks. We don't anymore, but we still left that there just in case in future we want to do that. We've got our front of house um, music. So for playing on break, we can run our music out there. Uh, we can hear that in our monitors if we want, or we can just pull that down. So basically, you know, throughout the night, if I'm like, you know, hey, my guitar is too loud, whatever, I just literally right from stage, just come in here and turn down my guitar. One last thing i like to point out about the system, and when you're using a digital mixer, um, like I said, we're using the Behringer X32 system. Uh, before that, we were using a Presonus system, just a different brand, but digital. The nice thing about those is they allow you to store scenes. So what a scene is, is basically it remembers all of your inputs and outputs, the levels that you have everything at, and it stays the same from gig to gig. So here we've got a bunch of different presets. Um, you'll see we've got one for live. We've got one for set up for our streaming because we're running it just a little bit different than we would when we're out live. Um, and it just, 
every time you fire up the system, basically it comes back up just the way that you last were running your system. So, you know, in theory, if you had a good mix when you're practicing or at the last gig, it should be very, very close to just turning it on and maybe making some minor adjustments uh, via your iPad or your Android uh, type device. So unlike an old school analog system, you know, if you pull your sliders down, then you have to reset everything every gig, go through a sound check. But literally, when we go to a gig and we do a sound check, we turn it on, we make some very, very minor adjustments and bam, we're ready to go. Wanted really quick here show you the backside of our rack. We've got our lead singer's wireless microphone here. This is a UHF wireless combiner. What this is doing is taking our four in-ear wireless monitor outputs on the antenna jacks, coming into this and it combines it so that we can come out with one uh, coax connector here and that goes to a um, single uh, omnidirectional antenna that we set. We try to set in the middle of the stage. And we got a power source here as well. We got some little rack mount unit here that we can plug some things in here without actually having to get into the back and plug things in. Um, and then we got a rack drawer that holds our uh, router and our antenna and things like that when we're transporting. Thanks for watching Larry the Music Guy channel where we talk everything music from a musician's point of view. Future videos will be talking about band related topics, recording, writing songs, gear reviews, and any other thing we find darn interesting about music. So if you find that darn interesting, subscribe, ring that bell, and leave some positive comments down below. But most importantly, remember to guitar done. Yeah, yeah, yeah.